In this exercise, we'll be creating a new file and changing some of its properties. There are several kinds of documents you can create with Flash. For instance, you can create animation or video files called SWIFT or SWF files. You can also create documents that contain only code that helps Flash run. In the next series of exercises, we'll be creating a new document that will be the main document for the application we're going to build. This document will serve as a container for all the content we create, the, the text, the graphics, the video, and the other uh, SWIFT files. What is a SWIFT file, by the way? SWIFT is an open format that many programs can export and many players can play. It's not specific to Flash. Flash has a native file format that can only be used by Flash, read or edited by Flash, called FLA. The document we're about to create is an FLA file. What we're about to do is create a new file in Flash. We will then change the properties of the document with the Property Inspector and the Document Properties dialog box. Finally, we'll save the FLA and the SWIFT files to the hard drive. When you open Flash, you'll notice the middle column of the stage is entitled Create New. See the middle column here? Here's Create New. The items below that work just like hyperlinks on any web page, so it should look familiar. You notice there's one for Flash document, which we can click, and it'll create a new Flash document. Now, if for some reason the Start menu isn't showing on your screen, there's a second way to create it. We can go up to the menu, go to File, and click New. You notice the Flash document is one of the choices. And we'll click OK. And there, we have created a new Flash document. The first thing we want to do is change the dimensions of the stage. If you look at the Property Inspector, you'll see that it's currently set to 550 pixels by 400 pixels. We want to change that to be 780 by 520. Now, by the way, if the Property Inspector isn't showing, click Control F3, and that'll open it. So let's click the size button. A dialog box pops up. So we're going to change the dimensions to 780 by 520. We'll click OK. And you'll note down in the property inspector that the size has changed there too. What this is going to do is it's going to select the size that the SWIFT file will ultimately be in the browser window. Now let's change one other thing. If you look over to the right, you'll notice the frame rate is set at 12. FPS is frames per second. Let's change that to 21. We're going to do that because 21 frames per second will appear smoother than 12 frames per second. All right. So now, let's save the file. We'll go up to the File menu, select Save, find a place that you'd like to, to save this file. We're going to create a new subdirectory so that we can hold all of the work that we do as we move through these tutorials. But first I want to create a new folder to put them in, so I'll click the Create New Folder button, and we're going to call it Video Store. created a new subdirectory. Now let's enter that subdirectory and let's change the file name. We don't want to call it untitled. We'll call it Video Store 1. Now you notice below that we have a choice here of what type of file to save. The default is Flash MX2000 document, 2004 document. There's also an MX document. You could choose that. It's an older format but there are some features and functions that won't be able to be saved there. You'd get a dialog box to warn you, but rather than run into that problem, we'll stick with the default of Flash MX 2004 document. We click Save. We've now saved our file.
Finally, let's close this document by going to the upper right hand column. There's the X. Click the X. Our document is now closed.